Hey, what's up? I'm going to show you everything you need to know to quickly get set up to play either Liftoff or FPV Freerider. So first, I have a Tyrannus QX7, so whatever your Tyrannus Spectrum controller is, you'll want to set it up roughly the same. There's a lot of videos already out here like this, so I'm not really going to go over it. But we'll get it turned on. You'll want to make a separate class for Liftoff. And you'll want to make sure you change your weight and offset to 50%. It'll be under your inputs page. It's page 4 um, for the Tyrannus QX7. And the reason is these games don't read negative inputs, so you need to adjust basically its zero point within the controller, and it'll help with the game. So there's other videos out there if you need any other help with that. Um, so from here... Alright, computer is on. Now... We don't have anything connected in here yet. You want to have your controller on first, have your computer on, but they're not connected. And also have your Fat Shark. I have the Dominator V3s, so that's what we're going to be using today. The most tricky part about this whole setup is getting these two things to talk to each other. And it's different from every PC. And depending on the graphics card you have, which version of Windows you have, um, I can't say anything about Mac, honestly, but it really just depends on your computer and what you're running. So I can show you the best of what I know, given what I have, which is pretty standard. I have a NVIDIA GE Force uh, GT graphics card along with um, the standard one, and I'll show you why that matters when we get this going. So, first thing we're going to do, standard USB cable. Your controller has to be on before you plug this in, otherwise it won't work. So we'll plug it on. It made a noise on the computer. We shouldn't have to do anything else with that. I'm assuming you've hooked your Tyrannus or whatever controller you're using up to your computer already. Here I have HDMI to HDMI Mini. That's going to plug directly into the HDMI Mini port on your Fat Shark. Right here is an um, 3.5 millimeter aux jack for you know your standard headphones. If you're if you're going this far, I mean you have to use the headphones. So I have a pair of those nearby. We'll use as well. Grab your Fat Shark headset. We're gonna turn it on. Now, assuming you've been flying with it, I like to leave all the antennas on. It just makes sense. You just get used to the weight of it, and you don't worry about accidentally turning it on without having an antenna and you burning out. Um, anything on the inside. You'll notice the receiver switch will be on one because that's what it normally is for flying. We'll plug in our mini HDMI. We'll flip our RX switch from one to zero. You want to hit the display button on the top a few times till you get to HDMI 2. And now I am showing exactly what is on my desktop is mirroring to my Fat Shark. Um, it's a 50 50 chance it's going to be an extended screen. So, what that means is my headset is acting like the left side of this monitor and my PC is the right side. And we want to change that for two reasons. The first one is if someone else is watching, we want whatever we're seeing here to be on screen. It'll make setting everything up easier and for a spectator it's fun you know, for others to watch. So right now, even though I click screen resolution, it's showing up on the left side over here. That's funny. You'll notice it shows both monitors here and it shows it's extend these displays. The problem is when I drop down this, it doesn't say to mirror the displays or copy the displays, and that's what we want. So what we have to do to change that is we're going to close this, and now, like I said, depending on your PC, it's going to be different. If you have a NVIDIA graphics card, you can right-click, hit the NVIDIA control panel, and you'll see here, um, drag the icons to match your display configuration. Um, so we actually want our desktop to be on the left side because um, that's our primary and we're going to apply that. Yours will probably be set up that way um, if it's backwards like mine was. 
Um, so once again, I still am just seeing now the right side of the screen. The two is my headset, the one is my PC. To get these to mirror, we want to right click and clone with one. So now it brings this, which shows one and two combined. And since we cloned monitor two with monitor one, and we hit apply, we will hit yes. This is essentially the resolution of what this picks up, or the resolution of this, I should say. Um, we'll hit apply, close this, and yeah, um, if you can see in there, that is my desktop. So the next thing from here, since we're mirroring that, we have our controller on, hooked up and ready. Um, we open Steam. And this is why this mirroring is great. Because without it, this is so hard to do through the goggles with because you need your keyboard and possibly your mouse. Um, we'll hit play with liftoff. All right. Here's liftoff. It's opened up. Go into options, controls. There's your controller presets. So you can see my throttle and everything. It is cooperating. You can also adjust your zero points. You can select your presets. Everything you need to is under that menu to get ready to fly. Jump into free flight pretty quick. And we should be ready to fly. Let's open up FPV Freerider. You have six maps, uh, the Calibrate controller, um, input, it knows it's USB controller. You want to make sure your throttle um, button says it's throttle zero at bottom. And then there's some custom settings, graphics, highest, lowest, um, all the way down, audio volume. And then you have six maps. Let's do the two towers. Here we go. <laughs> anyway, there's a quick guide on how to set this up. I'm going to do a FPV versus liftoff video here soon, so stay tuned.